Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my last Halloween tutorial for you. This one is probably the one that I was most excited about. Um, just because it's never been done before, or not that I know of, especially I don't think on YouTube. Um, so me and the girls got together and we were just throwing out ideas of what we could do. And media mentioned that we should do the Molly Goddesses. Straight away I kind of had a read through of the goddesses and just really, really loved Henny Nui Tepur. So I might um, read a little bit about her, so if you want to skip straight to the tutorial, then just go to this time right here. Otherwise, um, I will just read up a little bit. Okay, so there's so much information, I'm not going to bore you with all that, but um, I will also leave like a link down below of some more information if you want to read up on some Māori goddesses. So she was originally Hene Titama, the Dawn Maiden. She married Tane, but later realised that he was actually her father. Uh, but in shame, she cast herself to the underworld and took up the special role of being there to welcome her loved ones. So yeah, she's been called many things, goddess of the night, goddess of death, ruler of the underworld, but the title that I most like is Guardian of the Spirits. So um, that's what I was going with today. So I've got some purple here because, you know, purple is a very spiritual colour. So with the crown, um, there's a little reference to her to do with crystals and I just kind of went with that. So I would have rather had obsidian crystals, but I couldn't get my hands on them. Also, this crystal crown was made by my amazing friend. And so, yeah, I'm so thankful to her for that. Um, my mum got all the crystals and we kind of just um, looked up ideas that we liked and we all came together. So I've just put it under here because I just wanted the hair to cover it. And it's just like tied up in the back in a little knot. So this look here is inspired by Hene Noi Te po, Guardian of the Spirits. And if you want to see how to get this, then please keep watching. Okay, so I've just been screenshotting some inspo and um, I'm really liking these shots from Stan Walker's new takeover video so that kind of thing there um, all of them have really nice um, deep contour and a bit of a smokiness around the eyes and then of course the muko so yeah I'm feeling like I don't want to take this too dramatic I just want to keep it I don't know about the skin about the muko and um, Maybe I'll glam it up later with some glitter, I don't I don't really know yet. But I'm going to start with my face anyway, because I feel like the eyes are going to be so simple, so there's probably not going to be any fallout. So I'm just priming with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is just a really nice luminous primer. I want to use my Hourglass Foundation, but I just don't know if it's going to match me. I feel like this is my summer shade. So I'm going to try and then if I have to lighten it up, I'll just take a different um, foundation. I'm just going to blend this all in with the Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Medium Light Neutral. So you can see this is a much more natural highlighted look compared to the tart one. I'm going to take whatever's left over and just dust it on my eyelids. So yeah, so yeah, I am cream contouring with the tart shape tape just because I am going to go in later with some really deep contour. I just wanted to have a nice bronzy base to stick to. And if it's ever too intense, just go over it with the side of the beauty blender that you use for your concealer, just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Now I'm taking some Cody Espan and I'm just setting it the under eye area first. I've been using this lately for like all my Halloween looks, I think, because it's really affordable and um, I've actually really been liking it too. I'm just also taking that on a big fluffy brush just so that it's easy to blend out the contour later. I'm not doing my chin because I am going to be putting a muckle there later. So now I'm just going to contour with the deepest shade.
So I know that this all looks really intense right now, but I'm not going to do any blush and possibly no highlight. Um, so once we add the wig and the muko and stuff, everything should come together really nicely. I think I'm going to take a few shades from here, which is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. So I'm just going to go in first with this shade here. I'm just putting this in my crease and I'm being kind of messy about it. We do want like a smoky look, but we just don't want too much going on. We don't want it to take over from what's happening on the rest of the face. So I'm just kind of dabbing that color all over the outer corner and just dragging it in. So now I'm just going to take this shade right here, same brush, and pretty much do the same thing but not take it as high. And I'm flicking it out at the end. I'm thinking I might take a tiny bit of this black and just smudge it across my lash line. Now I'm just taking a flat definer and I'm just going to go above that and kind of smudge it up a bit. I just want it to be really like smudgy. So now I'm taking a little bit of that black just on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to put a tiny bit in the outer corner. I'm just taking a little bit of that lightest brown shade that we first used and I'm just sweeping that underneath my lash line. I just want it to be nice and smoky. I think I might come back to that. I'm going to put some lashes on. I'm just first giving my lashes a coat of mascara. Just going to take some of that dark brown under my lash line. So when we initially started talking about this collaboration, the ideas that I had for this look and also just um, brainstorming with the other girls, it was kind of like the more the better, you know, um, and I just wanted to go like all out. But after doing other Halloween tutorials, um, I feel like I have been really dramatic with them. So I just kind of wanted to tone this back. So now I'm just taking a little bit of that black and I'm just smoking that out under there too. I think I'm going to add a little bit of black to the waterline just to make the eyes pop a little bit more. I'm just going back in with that black shadow and just pressing it against that just to kind of set that in. All the way to the front. So I'm just adding a coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. Moving on, I think I'm going to try and do this mukul business now and then I'm going to come back and do my contour. Uh, Mum and I came up with an idea of trying to do it like as if it was a tattoo. So, I don't know if this is going to work because of the deodorant that I've got. It says that this is a um, cream one. We couldn't find any of the other types. So, basically I'm going to use this Dove Original Moisturising Cream and it's just a um, deodorant. Um, I'm going to stick this first. So here's the mokko that I've drawn here. I just um, googled mokko and then um, found some pictures and just kind of drew it from there and tried to size it up. Then I went and drew it over top of some carbon paper and underneath I put some tracing paper. Fingers crossed this works. Okay so it's moving around the foundation a bit. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of worked. Um, so now I can just go and fill that in. Okay, so I want the other one here. So I'm just... So for my head one, I um, just screenshotted some pics that I like from Soldier's Row. Sorry, my phone's really dirty. So there's this one and that one. And I'm pretty sure they all have the same one. So then I just went ahead and drew it and then um, did it on the carbon paper as well. So I'm just taking some more of the Cody Espan and I'm just going to fully on powder that down. This is freaking hard. I'm just giving this pen a go and see how I go. Woo. 
Oh, so I'm back and that was so hard. Um, so I tried to use the Rimmel pen liner. Yeah, it ran out, it wasn't working at all. So I just ended up switching my camera off because I just didn't want to waste all my battery. Um, I ended up just filling it all in with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which was very tricky, very tricky. Um, and I ended up changing it up a bit just because I wanted something more simple and it was hard. It was so hard. So definitely get a stencil if you can. Freehand is not the way. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's not perfect, but um, I can get over it. Yeah, next step I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to do a bit of Morphe Gel Liner Black and fill that all in. So you could totally leave it here. I'm really actually loving this. But I'm thinking, just to be a little extra, I'm going to go in with some glitter. Um, this is a chunky glitter from Glitter Tribe NZ. I'm not sure of the exact name, but I'll find it and I'll link it down below. So I'm just going to pat that on and, um, I don't know, see how that looks. So I'm first just going to use some um, glitter glue and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. I really hope this doesn't kill it. I was going to do a little bit of um, glitter contour, but I tried my wig on and you can't even see like that area of my face anyway. You can see this area. So instead, I think I'm going to do like a glitter tear. Maybe just one. I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm going to go and add a wig and a headpiece and be back. So this is the completed look. I really hope that you enjoyed this talk through video. Please go and check out my beautiful friends and their tutorials. And yeah, just subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next tutorial.